down he goes. Got a Penalty kick. And a bit of nonsense off the ball as well. And if it's a penalty, there's going to have to be a card of some colour. And there's plenty going on off the ball. It's just a yellow card for Kane Lewis, but the referee needs eyes everywhere here. Even the goalkeeper getting involved. And Wayne Barrett, the referee, needs help from his assistants here, potentially, to catch any culprits. We'll have a penalty when the dust settles. Let's have a look here, because Callum Gribbin is taken down. I mean, that's brilliant. That's what you want. You want him to, to get across his man, because as soon as he crosses, you get across him, any contact, and it's a penalty. I and mean, of course, the, the new rule, Quinny, is the double jeopardy rule, if you like. They don't want to send someone off if yeah. they're deemed to be the last man, unless it's an intentional foul, in which case you can get your marching yeah. orders. Well, Here's we, Sean Goss, though. We're not expecting anything from this referee. Sean Goss! And the penalty is saved. Maybe we're just not going to see a goal tonight. Maybe it's just not going to be anyone's night. But the goalkeeper celebrates, and Sean Goss is denied. You have to say, that's a fantastic save. I mean, absolutely brilliant. But he doesn't get it to the after the year. Now they've seen it, he doesn't get it in the corner, and gives the goalkeeper a chance, but... That's a big one miss from us. Here comes the corner. Regan Poole attacks it. Shamal George will punch. I must say the reaction of a few Liverpool players when that penalty was saved was a bit unsavoury. Well, you, Joe Riley don't, you don't is expect for that anything challenge. else. Yeah. yeah, you don't expect anything else from the Liverpool players. You don't want to see that in the game, but um, unfortunately. This is the yellow card for Riley. I think Joe just reaction, his reaction was a little bit slow there, and he could have probably got there earlier, but and such a good opportunity yeah. to potentially grab all three points, albeit with just under a quarter of an hour to go. Oh, and he's taking them all on. We've got to get people in the box. We've got Scott to get people McTominay in the box. Waits. Buffon get... waits. It's ah, Buffon! Just, behind him. That could have gone anywhere. Uh, just the final pass. You know why he's done well to get there. It's just... It was a little bit behind him. This is a fantastic run from Tien Sebi. Yeah, it's just... This pass. He's had to... Slow down his run, TJ, and it just... Probably made it a little bit more difficult for him to... Get a clear shot and go, but... Good play from us. Buffonge to Mitchell. That's good play, Bimmy. Knocked over by Virtue. And the Liverpool captain has had a few goes at some of the United players tonight, and he's going to get a yellow card. I think partly the totting up process, yeah. but also he had a few words there which the referee didn't like. I think it's becoming... Not just from that far, but... His previous fouls, I think he's had a few of them. It gives us a chance now, he's just got to... Well, it's easier said than done, put it in the danger area and... Someone's got to gamble, yep. Come on, boys, let's get a goal here, shall we? In from Goss, there's the header! Winner! Matty Willock! What a way to surely win a game. There is surely Brilliant. no coming back for this for Liverpool. Brilliant. What a ball from Gosh. What a ball this is. What a ball. Oh, my goodness, this is a great ball. Yeah, great whip. Finally, a really good delivery. Someone, a moment it, of quality, yeah. and, and someone, someone attacks yeah. it. Brilliant. We've been waiting a long, long time for that. <laughs> And all of a sudden, the cop is emptying, and Manchester United look set to get three very valuable points. Gomez looking for Phillips, seen away by Poole. Just got to stay concentrated now, just... 
Away by Harrop. Launched forward again. Phillips wins the header. So does Poole. It'll drop to Virtue here. No. No chance of a penalty there. No chance of Regan Poole not seeing that one out either. Corey Whelan lets it go. Didn't have the control. That's got to be it, no. This was the appeal for a penalty. There's never been a penalty. <laughs> no. There's absolutely nothing no. in that. I can't believe he was even looking for it or looking at the ref for it. Nicky Butt wants the final whistle. Calling for it from the touchline. And there it is. From Derby defeat to Derby delight. United put the City loss behind them in the best possible way by coming to Anfield and winning. The game seemed destined to end in a draw. A match dominated by defences. The best chance to score before the late winner fell to Sean Goss, who saw his penalty saved by goalkeeper Shamal George. But Matty Willock popped up with a header right to the death to grab three valuable... Premier League two points for Manchester United at Anfield. Liverpool nil, United one. Matty, so tell us what it's like to score a last-minute winner against Liverpool at Anfield. Obviously, it's a great feeling. Um, we had to grind the result. It was like it was a hard game. It was a tough game. So to get the, the winner at the end, told the team is brilliant. Absolutely, a yeah, really good performance, especially near the end of the game. The first half was a bit of a stalemate. Not much happened. What's it like to be involved in a game like that when chances are few and far between? Um, obviously, it was, it's a derby, so at the start of the game, everyone was pressing high. It was hard to get on the ball, so it was hard to create opportunities. But um, as the game went on, it stretched a bit more, and that's when people were getting in for chances. Spot on, you're absolutely right, because the game stretched as it got near the end. You seemed to show your fitness and created a few more chances. Axel had a great run, produced a shot, which DJ just missed, and then there was his header cleared off the line. So you were starting to create more and more as the game wore on. Yeah, obviously we work hard every day in training. So when it comes to this, we can be fit at the end and we can create opportunities. And that's what we did today. Collectively, we're making as fit as we can to perform at the highest level for a longer period of time because, you know, football is a very high demanding game nowadays. It plays 95 minutes of non-stop running and, and you've got to be very, very fit to do that. Added to that, when it comes to the technical side, you've got to be fit to be able to do it when you're tired. And, we put a lot of emphasis on that, so yeah, we that was pleasing that we kept going to the last, you no know, laps to the last minutes to keep going to the goal for the winning. That's a great way to win a game in the last minute, isn't it? And here at Anfield to get a last minute winner, it's just that extra special. It is. I think it's a great rival between the two clubs. It's um, you know, it's it's something that I've always enjoyed when I was a part of this club, and I'm still enjoying now. And I think, you know, Liverpool's a great football club. It's pretty much like like ours. Um, you know, a very passionate team, very passionate people who want to want to win and. And the same as us, and I think it's a really good rivalry, a really healthy rivalry to have. Just finally, it's an absolute pleasure to work with you and see you every week, and you're always great on camera with us, but any movement on who's going to perhaps fill in and do this full-time? Because I know you've got another job that uh, you get paid to do. Yeah. Uh, well, I was thought it might come from my boss, not you sacking me from it already, but uh, <laughs> it's something we're looking at. You know, it's something that we've got to get right. It's a very important um, age group to, to manage and to look after. Um, it's if the last last step, if you like, into the first team or into the, to, uh, different clubs to try and make a career. So it's important. Um, we're going through the process now of interviews and. And uh, hopefully pretty soon we'll have someone in mind that, that comes along. We don't want to make, uh, make a rush job in and get the wrong person. But would you miss it? Because you're so animated on the touchline. You love no, it out there. I wouldn't miss it, actually. My throat's gone every time, uh, <laughs> I, every time I come to a game. I think I'm going to have to approach it a bit differently. But you get, you get excited and you want to be part of it. And um, Yeah, I'm enjoying it. But like I said, I've got a bigger, a bigger job, a bigger picture uh, with the club to do. And it goes right from 12 right through to the 23s. So it's something that I'm, I, I'm keen to get started again. What a big three points that is for United. Jump up a couple of places in the table. 17 points now from 14 games, closing the gap on Liverpool and those above. Everton won tonight as well, which strengthens their position at the summit of Division 1 with Leicester and Derby in the two relegation spots as it stands. The bottom two, of course, go down to Division 2, where Swansea City really are ruling the roost. A 13-point lead at the summit now with games running out. Looks like they will be promoted towards the end of the season. 
But what a way to win a game right at the death at Anfield in the 93rd minute. A big moment Brilliant. for Matty Willock and a big moment for United and for this team generally. Uh -huh. uh, pick me up really in the season. Well, they've been through uh, a couple of difficult results. Um, and, 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 you know, you just sometimes you wonder, will they come here? Will the head go down? And um, credit to Nicky Butt and, and, and his group of players. They, they come here today and they made it difficult for both, well, for Liverpool. Uh, and, and to get the, like you mentioned, to get the result at the end. And to see the celebrations, the smiles on their face, that's what it's all about. Um, I'm just so excited for them and happy that they, they, they got the win because, I mean, it wasn't the easy game to watch today, but uh, especially coming to this place and getting the, the three points, absolutely brilliant. Great stuff. Quinny, thanks for your company. Good Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Thank you for yours as well. Not too much to savour in the first half then, but a brilliant moment right at the end of the second for anyone uh, associated with Manchester United. Bye from us. Whoever wants it, and hits it!